In this session, let us understand how to create and use macros in a spreadsheet. A macro is nothing but a saved sequence of commands or keystrokes that are saved for later use. So let us use the macro recorder and understand this concept very easily. Now I have written the numbers from 1 to 10 in column A that is from the second cell to the 11th cell. I am going to create a multiplication table of say 13. Okay. Now recording a macro is very easy. You simply have to click on tools, macros and record macro. Now here once you click this you find this small window appearing record manager which says stop recording. Now I am going to enter a formula here which is equal to multiply one here with this number. And this has to be happening for all the cells. So we are keeping cell B1 as constant value. So we will have to do an absolute referencing. I am adding a dollar sign here and pressing enter. Got it? Now if I select this and use the autofill handle, you will find that the values are automatically getting generated for all the 10 numbers. For example, 7 multiplied by 13 is... 91 or 10 multiplied by 13 is 130. So this way we can create a simple multiplication table. I am stopping the recording and now I am going to give a name for the macro. There are a couple of macros which I have already tried. So that is what is appearing here. I am going to give the name of this as multiply. Okay. And this is getting saved under my macros in the standard folder under module 1. You will have to remember this hierarchy. Now I am clicking on save. Okay, So your macro is now created and it is saved. We can delete all of them. Okay, Now I am typing here the number 17 and pressing enter. Let me call this macro. So I will have to click on tools, macros, run macro. Last time we clicked record. Now we are going to run it. So let's click on run macro. Now I'll have to go through the same location. What was it? It was in my macros under standard module 1. The name was multiply. Now I'm clicking on run. Do you see the multiplication table getting popped up? As simple as that. So this way we can easily create and run macros using macro recorder. Now let us learn the next one that is to use function. You are going to write a function and call the macro. Okay. Now uh, you must have noticed when we say is equal to sum of and select a few cells, the sum function is called. Now the same way we can write a very simple macro. I have written one simple macro for you already. I am going to tools, macros, organize macros. Now I am choosing the option. Open Office Basic. Now here you can see this 5. Okay. I am going to edit it and show. It's a very very simple function as you all can see. Function 5. 5 is equal to number 5. End function. So this way I am defining a function here. Now if I type is equal to 5 anywhere. You see this is getting replaced with the number 5. Now the same way you all can try writing for another one. Simply click on tools, macros, organize macros, open office basic. Now click on edit. Okay. Now I am pressing a couple of enters and writing a new function. Say 100. Open and close bracket. Press a tab. Now whenever I type 100. It has to replace with the number 100. End function. Okay. Now I am saving this and closing the window. Now wherever you are going to type is equal to 100. Open and close bracket press enter. You will find this getting replaced with the number 100. As simple as that. So you can call macro as a function. Now the third topic that is given is to pass arguments. Okay. 
So we are going to ask arguments and find the maximum value for which there is a function which is given in the textbook that I have copied. So I'm going through tools, macros, organize macros, open office basic and I'm editing this. You find a test max function here which is checking among the two given arguments x and y which one is greater. A very simple program which is making use of the if condition. If x is greater than or equal to y then test max is x else test max is y ending the if function ending the function. So we are going to call this function and see how it works. I am entering two values here 20 and 10. Call the function is equal to test max of 20 that is I am clicking on the cell because I am passing the argument here. Now in open office writer we are not going to use comma instead we are going to use semicolon and click on the next one that is B16. Close the parenthesis and press enter it gives me which is the higher number. Now I can also call it here is equal to test max of is it this one semicolon or is it this one. Do you see this is working anywhere. Okay. Now it not only works on arguments it also works on values you can directly type is equal to test max of 23 semicolon 21. See, you're getting the answer. So this way you can directly pass values to the function. Got it? Now let's go through some of the other macros that were given in the textbooks and, and that I have copy pasted over here. Okay. Now the next one that was given is to sum all sheets. Now if you see this, I have directly copy pasted this sum all sheets wherein I am going to refer to a particular cell and use this function to add the values that is there in the cell. May sound complicated but just understand the sum all sheets is going to calculate the value that is stored in the cell 3 comma 1 in all the sheets of this workbook. The cells begin with 0 comma 0. The first cell A1 begins at 0 comma 0. So now if I have to refer to cell D2, then it will be 0, 1, 2, 3 and down. So it will be 1. So 3, comma 1. This way I will access the cell of D2 in sheet 1, D2 in sheet 2 and D2 in sheet 3. Maybe I am giving a value here as 5. So what are the values that we have in D2? 2, 6 and 5. 2 plus 6 plus 5 is 13. Now I am going to click here and call sum all sheets. Am I getting the answer? 2 plus 6 plus 5 which is 13. Got it? So this way I can access the cells directly using the code that is given in the Textbook. And the last topic that is given as part of this particular lesson is to sort it. Now again simply we are going to copy and paste whatever is given there. I have already done it and the name of that particular function is sort range. Let me edit this. The code is so big. Okay. Just copy and paste it. Now what this program is going to do is they have given some information here. Let me delete this so to avoid confusion. They have given some numbering here in columns A and B and they have written 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And this is first going to sort column B in descending order. So this 8, 7 and 4. This will go up. And then 5, 1 and 1 will come down and so on. So this is going to sort column B in descending order. And now after that if there are any re repeated values it is going to sort column A in ascending order. 
Let's see how this works. I am selecting cells A1 to C5 and I am going to sort it by range. So I am going to click on tools, macros, run macro. I am going to go through the sort range macro and run it. Can you see? The column B has got sorted according to the descending order. Now there are two values of 1 for which column A has got sorted in ascending order that is smaller to bigger. So this is the last topic that is given in this particular lesson. With that we complete how to create and use macros in spreadsheets. Also we complete the advanced spreadsheet that is unit 2. I hope the concept is clear till here. Please do like, share and subscribe to my YouTube channel. Thank you.